Welcome back to my channel. It is AK Educator underscore curls here, also known as Nia. And in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the hair things that I've been trying this month. Um, two are empties and one is something I'm still playing with. And so we're gonna talk about those today. The first is the Not Your Mother's Naturals Titian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Conditioner. As y'all can see, this bad boy is empty because I have like squeeze. <laughs> It, um, this is about 16 fluid ounces when you buy the bottle, and it retails for about $6.99 at my local Target. Um, I believe that that's where it retails, or how much it retails for at other Targets as well. But so let's get into a little bit of this product. This is super moisturizing. It has really, really great slip. Um, it is 98% natural, so it doesn't have a whole bunch of like chemical-based ingredients. Um, I think my struggle with this product is it's very, it's so, so, so light. So when I use a heavy gel, it doesn't, I can't co-wash with this. Um, I think the other thing that I'm semi-struggling with this product is like I find myself often stipping, skipping the step of conditioning um, and either co-washing using a cleansing conditioner like my As I Am Coconut Co-Wash or shampooing and using a DC. Um, and so I think I'm going to just remove conditioners from my routine. Like I'm not going to purchase them at all anymore for now. Um, if I need to ever come back to a conditioner, I will definitely pick this one up. This is hands down my favorite right now on the market. Um, but I just am finding like less of a use for deep conditioners um, in my kind of everyday and or like every week routine. So that's that product. All right. Next is my tried and true Bay Love It to Death. It's actually what's in my hair today. I used uh, the Kinky Curly Curling Custard um, with its counterpart, which is the Kinky Curly Not Today. It is one of my favorite wash and goes. I just get such great definition, and it smells so, 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 so good. It truly smells like marshmallow, um, the product does, and it's very light and natural, um, and I love it. It is an all-natural product, great ingredients, has that, like, snotty texture to the gel, which is my favorite texture to gels. Like, all of the gels that I own are like that, just about. Um, this is a eight fluid ounce product. It retails at Target, I believe, for $16.99. It can vary based on your location, though. Like, I've seen it at some Targets for $18.99, and I'm like, whoa, you're doing a lot. Um, but you also can find it at Whole Foods. I believe it is also now in Walgreens and some other places. This stuff is amazing, y'all. Like, I have used this with multiple different products. Um, I prefer it with Kiki Curly, not today. I think that's the way it works the best. I will definitely say that, but I've used it with other leave-in conditioners underneath it, and it is equally as good. So this is a really, 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 really great gel. I am very pleased with it. Um, I buy the 8-ounce jar regularly just because it is easier for me to find. I can't really find the 16-ounce jar, but if I could find it, I would buy the 16-ounce jar regularly because then I don't have to stock up on it as much. Um, but I always keep a backup of this because it is bay. Like, it is so, 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 so good. And if you have not tried the curling custard, I would say go to Target, go to your Whole Foods, pick up the leave-in and the gel. They are both great. Um, yeah, this is just, it's amazing. Like, and it works so well for me in the climate and weather of Houston. Like, Houston is humid. Nothing like Georgia. And I keep telling people that. I'm, people are like, this is so humid. I'm like, you've never seen humidity if you've never been in the swamps of Georgia. But, um you know, it, sta it stands really, really well amidst the weather here in Houston, which I think is major, and there's a lot of heat here, so um, it's really, really nice to know that, like, this gel works really, really well. Um, along with my other, like, you know, my favorite gels, they all kind of have that same um, result in humidity and heat. Um, and lastly is the Mish Boost Hydrating Leave-In and Curl Refresher Spray. Um, this used to be a spray top. I did switch it out. I'm still playing with this, and I wanted to talk about this because I need some advice. If you've ever tried this um, and you are interested in, um, interested in, you know, sharing with me the ways that you use it, please do. I'm trying to figure out, like, the best way to use it right now. Right now, I think I'm just going to use it under Bounce, which is their curl cream, um, and do, like, a gel-less wash and go. But I am really trying to figure out, like, what's the best way to use this product. Um, I'm also going to try it with a bunch of my gels and see if I like it paired with any of those to figure out if it's another alternative. Right now, my three favorite leave-ins, like hands down, will be Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk, the King Curly Knot Today, and the As I Am Leave-In Conditioner. Those are hands down my fave, but this is very close. 
um, and up there. Like this is super, super moisturizing. Um, it has a really, really great slip. It has a really great smell. And so I'm really trying to figure out the best way to utilize this product. So if you've used it and you have found like different concoctions or curl cocktails that work for you, please share it in the description box. I'd love to explore more like the best ways to use this. Um, so yeah, that's it. Those are the three like hair products that um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about. Two are empties. One is one that I am like learning and, and doing a lot. As y'all can see, I've used a good bit of it, but I am still like trying to figure out the best way to utilize it. Um, and a lot of, you know, figuring out curl products is trial and error. So, <coughs> excuse me, I will definitely um, keep exploring and figuring out the best way to use that. And as always, share as I explore it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.